Uh, sorry for the audio quality, but and the video and uh, but hi, uh, I'm so I'm going to be showing you what is FreeCam uh, Eight. Uh, <coughs> it's a program I've been using for a very short time, and honestly, it works great for recording 
uh, screen. Uh, so basically, this is the main screen you see when you start it up. And then you select the new recording button, uh, and then you get this area that you can set up to be full screen or only part of the screen, uh, which you do by using uh, these little tab things on the top and bottom. I know exactly what they're called. All by select area and then selecting the area you want to record like so. So I say cancel for now and try something really interesting. Uh, if you hit Windows uh, T you get the game bar but that only allows you to record full screen. There's the screen recording panel and it only works when you're playing a game uh, or using certain applications. Some areas can't be recorded by this. But FreeCam A can absolutely record anything you want. Uh, now let's have a look at one of the ways I would use this program. Did you know that recently I just bought a microphone? You can't tell it right now because I'm recording on the camera. Uh, sorry for that, but let's continue. So now I'm at school uh, with my face mask on because I'm have to. Uh, but today two parcels also to arrive, one with a Bluetooth adapter for my computer which isn't half Bluetooth and one with the topic of this video, a new microphone. It's supposed to become half past nine and the uh, parcels are already at a sorting uh, sensor. Actually the two parcels are at a sorting sensor. <laughs> it's really an exciting day. It's about quarter past night and I already have a uh, 10 subscribers. Thank you. Yeah, so as of right now, uh, my parcel is underway. Uh, great news. I can't open it. Almost fell away. Uh, it's this Bluetooth dongle. Didn't lose it, luckily. So it's I guess it's designed not to be returned. Hello. So uh, today I'm going thrifting. Uh, for the first time, uh, with a reason being that I am looking specifically for a uh, micro set type device with a DVD player, a radio, and an amplifier on the device because the one I uh, we currently use does not work. Uh, so yeah, I'm going. Uh, I had made an appointment at my local thrift store for one o'clock uh, Amsterdam time. Uh, so I just have to wait until that point, but we want let me tell you what happened. So we had that micro set for quite some time, and uh, as for now, the radio works just fine with great reception. Unfortunately, I can't let you let you hear any of that because otherwise we might be copy striked uh, uh, by YouTube and perhaps risking our channel. Uh, but what does happen is. Uh, what does also work as amplifier, external inputs work just fine as well with a digital radio a receiver, actually digital TV receiver that can do radio. However, the part that does not work is the DVD player. Uh, we can get it to insert a disc, but then it does not read that disc at all. I tried to open it up, but I couldn't find the culprit. 
So that's why we're getting a second hand uh, new uh, player. The reason why I'm getting second hand is because I couldn't find any new microset DVD players, and B, I want to support uh, the thrift store and the environment in general.
let's have a look at the this week. What went right, what went wrong. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm trying to experiment a little bit with the new intro by the way, so this is Prayers. Okay, so today, today one and mathematics test failed completely. Yeah, everyone uh, found the test very difficult, uh, both in the classroom I stepped into and the classroom I was intended to step into. Yep, this is the only time in my entire life I stepped in the wrong classroom for a test. Luckily it's the same test and we could resolve that little issue pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah. That is day one. Mathematics and absolutely terrible. But I do so hope I'll get decent grades. So today's day two. Uh yeah. Physics stats went pretty well. Uh besides a single question that had an isotope or that kind of thing. Something that wasn't in the table, so I had to find information about it and didn't remember it either. So that question, other classmates have had the same problem with that question. So basically, I hope, I really think I'm going to get a 7 uh, out of it. Or at least I really hope so. Uh, yeah, but I won't find out until the end of the test week. Sorry for all the hook is a little bit different than at home with the proper microphone. Uh, <laughs> Hi, 2022 is coming within just two months. Let's talk about it. Okay, so my first year of uh, YouTube is almost about to be over. Uh, 2021, uh, yeah, it's every year, everything in your life has an end to it. But the end of one thing is always the beginning of something else. In this case, the end of the year 2021 is the beginning of the year 2022. What will happen? Covid-19 again. <laughs> yeah. I think that is not going to end. I initially thought it would. But it isn't going to end. Uh, yeah. As of right now, the cases are increasing again. Uh, more and more people get vaccinated. But there is a group of people who are not. And to those who are still considering, please get yourself vaccinated. However, even those who were vaccinated still got the virus, which is why older people and people with an immune disorder may get a booster prick in the Netherlands, at least in many other countries as well. Uh, yeah, so that is that. And I have heard of another press conference which introduces face masks and 1.5 metre division again. And I need to use a Corona Check QR code, gang, when I, uh, not only when I want to enter a restaurant, but also uh, for sporting events, uh, and one day even uh, for school. I really hope that last one will not happen, because I never take my smartphone with me at school. Oh yeah. Uh, what happens to my channel next year? Well, it, it will pretty much say exactly the same as it is right now, of course. Uh, yeah, you know, I've got a lot more work to do at school. Uh, and I've had some pretty bad tests today, but some of that is down to, uh, you know, not making the tests right while still knowing everything. Or worse, one test went wrong because the teacher did something wrong. Physics teacher did something wrong at a physics test uh, that uh, inherently made everyone get a relatively bad grade. Anyway, I hope to see you next time. Bye!
I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.